Welcome to my first episode of Catching Up With Case. Take one. Okay, so this fan is like my Miami fan. This thing be working. Look, oh, y'all don't see on my lace. Hold on, okay. So I will keep my fan out because it's my Miami fan and I'll get to this fan in a moment. So let's just get right into the trip. So before I got on the plane, I was getting like really bombarded at work and I really just wasn't feeling the trip anymore. And I was like, not in a good mood because like stuff at work wasn't really going the way I wanted it to go because I was supposed to have a closing the day before my birthday and it would have just been perfect to just have that deal closed for my friend, which now that it just closed, <laughs> Um, we are bringing you an episode, so I'm going to bring my client on so that we can discuss, like, this process because I swear that, like, this transaction, you could literally never make it up. So, I'm going to go to his house sometimes next week and record the video for you guys so we can talk about everything that happened. And it's going to be a good old kiki uh, because <laughs> you just can't make it up. You can't make it up. And this is my client in my last realtor vlog, the one where I introduced you guys to my wine. Um, and I showed him two houses that day and he put an offer on that house where well, he just closed on that house. So now we're about to like go back and like show you, tell you guys everything that happened in between. But it was a hot mess on December 3rd, okay? So it was a hot mess. I was not in a good mood. Like I was on the phone with everyone. Um, on my layover and in my flight so I couldn't really like get into the vacation mode so I wasn't like super happy and upbeat like when I got to Miami like I was just kind of ready for it to like be whatever so I could just you know I just really wasn't in the mood or feeling it but I invited some, some very good friends of mine I invited Jasmine Danielle Denisha Amber Isaac, Britt, Cardell, and it was me. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds about accurate. So it was all of us, we stayed in this nice, like Airbnb that had a pool in the back, and it was super cool, it slept 10, so it was plenty of space for everybody. And Friday night, we all, I mean Friday, we all got in around one o'clock. So we kind of just unpacked, chilled, and then we got dressed to go out that night. We went to this place that started with an M. The like ambiance was nice and stuff. Like it looked cute and um, I have videos that's gonna come up here. But like, I was like, the food was not good. The hookah was trash and it was just like, I don't know, overpriced, I guess, like for what it was, just because the food wasn't good. Like, if I'm gonna pay for this money, at least give me some food. Like, it was tacos with like Parmesan cheese on it. Like, we know that tacos don't have Parmesan cheese on it, you know? So, there's that. Then we went, like, during that same weekend was also Art Basel weekend. So, we went to like this art thing afterward, which was kind of cool. Um, wish we could have like stayed there longer, but then Jasmine and Amber had flew in, so um, yeah. So we stayed out there for a little while, listened to some good music, but everywhere we went was like techno music, so it was like and that's cool, and I love that for a good vibe for us. But I was ready for some like Megan, some city girls, like give me something. Some something to twerk, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready to go to work out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, get me in the party mood, you know? So, that's kind of where I was. <clears throat> so, then we went back to the house. Danielle came in, um, she ended up staying at the house and didn't go out with us. Um, but we all went out, and then we went to this like other place. I know I'm like, so, like, I don't know where the hell I was. I have no idea. But we went to this place, this guy bought me this drink, and like, okay, so it was this, it was this white guy, he bought me this drink. We like started like having a random conversation at the door, and so then we saw each other again inside, so he's like, hey, can I buy you a drink? So I was like, of course, like, yeah, like, you cute, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. So he was like, oh, like, I'll bring it to you, and I'm like, no, 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 you're not finna roofing my drink, Bill Cosby. 
You not finna build Cosby me. Okay, I gotta see what's being put in my drink. So I went over there to the bar. He was like, oh, like I just wanted to surprise you with a drink. And I was like, no sir, you are not finna roofie me. And all my friends will jump you. We will fight you. Okay, so anyway, he was super cool. <clears throat> and yeah, there's that. So then we went back home or to the Airbnb. And then everyone like Danielle Cardell had like decorated for me and then my cake was there. She said she tired. Make a great wish. What? You didn't make a great wish. No. We didn't make, make no, a great wish. We light them candles. We light them hoes. We spend money on it. We light them. <laughs> we light them hoes. You, you just said I go to black mama. mama. Or you like somebody black mama. I make my wish. We got to redo the moment. Gratitude. We got to redo the moment. Blow out your candles, Casey. Happy birthday. Oh. We a little harder than that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah! There was that, but I feel like I was just not in it. I was in a funk from work stuff, so it wasn't like their fault. But I was just tired, and you know, yeah. But they surprised me with like a cake, and it was Chanel. It was cute. But then they gave me the whole backstory of the cake and like how the cake came to be, and Isaac brought this cake from Tennessee on the plane like it, <laughs> it was hilarious like Danielle is still triggered to this day about this cake but nevertheless it's the thought that counts and I really love my friends so much for like making my birthday weekend special so then we like went to sleep and then the next day was the yacht day and <laughs> Just want to make a toast to Casey. Um, you are on year 28, 20 great. And we are looking forward to many more years of what you manifest, which is going to be abundance of finances, abundance of health, abundance of wealth. How did you Cheers. know my wish from yesterday? Cheers. I didn't know. But Cheers. <laughs> And so we had this nice yacht and we had like, um, we had drinks, food, we had to go to Polo's and food. Isaac had made us food Friday, but we ate all the food for the yacht trip. So he had to like go and get more food today. The yacht, I was so late in the yacht. <laughs> Nevertheless, so we get there, we have food and at first we're just kind of drinking and chilling, like we're having a good time. Then like, we get like the drinks flowing for sure and we're like having a good time like we're vibing like music's playing had a had the dopest time i wanted to get on jet ski but then i was like i don't want to take my wig off to get on the jet ski because if my wig goes flying off on this jet ski i'm gonna cry so i didn't get on the jet ski even though i really wanted to so i'm gonna have to go jet ski some other time with something a little bit more secure and i wish that i would have worn this wig to miami but i didn't i wore my short wig so there's that um then we got on these like <clears throat> water floats out there and we had a good time like a super good time and then we passed by like millionaires row out there and saw like the the creative viagra and pfizer house their house and then the famous like floating house that's always out there the lady on the tour says she's never seen the house move but hgtv showed it moving so i don't really know but yeah so there's that and then that night we went back and we ordered food in because we didn't want to like continue to uber because ubers during the art basil weekend were like busting heads okay so we didn't want to like uber to go get something to eat and then come back and then get dressed to go back out so we just ordered in the food my food was good i don't really know i mean i ate family dinner but everybody was just family dinner well danielle danielle was so mad over this corn 
because she had ordered corn from a Mexican place, and so she's expecting Mexican corn, and they just gave her boiled corn. Oh my gosh, my girl, my girl was pissed. She was mad. My girl was mad. But anyway, so she called and was on the phone with them. We smoked some hookah um, outside, and then we got dressed to go to the strip club. We went to a very basic strip club. We went to K King of Diamonds. They need to rebrand. When y'all are ready to rebrand, hit me up because what y'all got going on there, like I'm just disappointed in y'all. I'm just disappointed in K King of Diamonds, honestly. Like, the last time I went there, it was lit AF. And I knew it wasn't going to be as good. But I really wanted the black strippers. You know, I wanted that type of atmosphere. So, I still had a good time. We went on this party bus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all about to see this clip of Denisha. And Denisha gets up and she like gets on the strip pole and she's like doing her thing on the strip pole, okay? Cause then she got a booty, y'all. So she gets up, does her thing on the stripper pole, and then the bus like kind of like stops and slides, and she trips over like some of the money that's on the on the floor. Well, tell me why the girl, one of the stripper girls that was on the the party bus, was like, oh, like, like we're the strippers. Like go sit down, we're the strippers. And I was looking like, now I will fight you, okay, honey, because we do not play them games around here. Because my girl is killing it, and I don't care. She's not trying to take your job, okay? She's just trying to have a good time. We're just trying to have a good time. So then, like, she kind of, like, tried, the stripper tried to kind of, like, redeem herself. And she was super cute, and she was super nice. Um, but, like, that comment was, like, kind of unnecessary. But, anywho. So we get the King of Diamonds and we're having a good time with some people and the are doing their thing, having a good time, then we leave and then we go home. Then the next day, most of the people left except for a couple. Um, Danielle, Amber, and Britt had a late fright, flight Sunday so we ended up going to Sugar Factory. but. Like across the street was this place called Palace. Okay, so like Palace is this drag show, and I should have we should have went there. We tried to go there, but the bouncer said that you can't come in after the show starts. But like that place, like their brunch was fifty dollars for bottomless mimosas right, with a drag one, show two, and a, a meal. So you're we should have went there instead, uh, like for brunch, good. because that drag show for brunch was lit. Like we were next door, and so we watched the drag show. Um, and but the sugar factory was good too, because we got one of those big drinks. Um, and those things, those things are huge. They'll have you. They'll have you right. Like one will have you right. So we did eat good and we did get to see the show, but I wish that we were like there. So then we went to the design district because Amber wanted to go there, but she had to go check into her hotel. So Danielle and I went and it was like freaking amazing. And I want to go back because there's some stuff that I want to see. It's basically like where all of the um, designers are in one location in Miami. But I'm sure cats in there like scared. But that was my birthday trip as a whole. I really had a good time. I'm just like always grateful to like spend time with people that I love and you know have a good time and turn up because that's literally just what I love to do. And it gives me motivation to keep going when I can spend it with time, like spend time with loved ones. So overall, I had a great 28th birthday and I'm super excited to see what 29 it's going to look like, and 30 is going to be, whoo, I can tell you that 30 is going to be so lit is what I do know. 30, 30 is going to be that, yeah, yeah, you know? So, okay, thanks for watching this first episode of Catching Up With Case, where we take a glimpse of what's happening, and then we recap, like, what happened that way I can talk, like, uh, doing the, no, and do the behind the scenes of it all, and let you see, like, what I'm really talking about. You know what I'm saying? So then that way we kind of get a vibe of what's really happening. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.